Presenting a Benjamin Burdett production. Liberty, the story of Patrick Henry. Starring as the narrator, Benjamin Burdett. Co-starring as Patrick Henry, Benjamin Burdett. I'm Patrick Henry. I was born May 29, 1736 in Virginia. My parents' names are John and Sarah, and my older brother's name is William. Now, now, little Patrick, we must get our things together for the St. Andrew's celebration. Yes! Our carriage will be leaving in five minutes' time! Oh, what? William! Come on! We're going to be late! jokester sometimes. He may be older, but really, we're so different. I'm a child that doesn't have much to say. I really write most everything down on my new quill pen that I got for my birthday. Well, you can say that I'm the mature type, but William, let's just say he's the misbehaving type. Mom is always somewhere yelling at him. She's not mean, but what are you supposed to do with a child like him? I just love the St. Andrew's celebration. All that great food. <gasps> Jonathan! You need to set a good example for the boys. And so, the Henrys went to the celebration and had a great time. During the St. Andrew's celebration, Patrick and the rest of the boys in Hanover County had foot races. Every year, Patrick was among the fastest boys in the county, even though he was only eight. I've always loved music, and when it came from the St. Andrew's Day celebration, that love grew more and more, so much so that my parents bought me a fiddle. Every Sunday night, we would sing songs of worship around the fire, led by me and my fiddle. I don't mean to make excuses, but I think my brother's behavior is rubbed off on me. Last week, I put a young skunk in a basket and then put it on my teacher's desk. She thought it was a nice gift of fruit and bread, because that's what Germans like, I guess. But when she saw the basket and opened it, what jumped out was a young skunk, and she was like... Ah! Who put a skunk in this basket? It sprayed me and I can't see! Well, it ended for me around 11 years old. From then on, my father was my full-time teacher. He's gonna, he says he's going to give me hard courses for the next five years. After all, he did spend four years teaching at Aberdeen University in his home country of Scotland. I credit him for my knowledge. Patrick and his brother went with their Uncle Billy for a few weeks on a camping trip. They rarely got to see Uncle Billy because he lives with Native Americans. Uncle Billy taught Patrick how to speak in a very convincing way. He was, all, he was able to persuade almost anyone to do a multitude of things. Patrick thought it would be a very valuable skill, and take it from me, it was. Because of Patrick's great ability to speak, he became a great political leader. He was headed to the Virginia Convention to discuss his view on the Declaration of Independence, even though not many, many people agreed with him. While there, he said these famous words. I know not what course others may take, but as for me, give me liberty or give me death! It was at that moment that everyone saw where Patrick Henry was coming from. They knew that he was very passionate about this, like everyone else. So they started to agree with him and hop onto the liberty train, if you will. Now, Patrick Henry is mostly known for those famous words, and from that moment on, Patrick Henry became the voice of the American Revolution. As you know, everything has a life cycle, and Patrick's time was nearing an end. He ended up passing away on June 6, 1799, in Brookneal, Virginia. Thinking back on his lifetime, he is one of the very few American men that can say, I was a founding father of the best country to ever exist.